Hey guys, welcome back to another devotion. We are going through our daily bread for kids, and today's theme is Because You Said So. So one night, Jesus' disciples, um, they were out on their boats. They were fishermen. And so they would go out and they would fish at night, and they'd bring home the fish for their families, and they'd sell it to the markets, and that's how they made their money. <clears throat> so one night, they were out fishing, and they were fishing all night long, and they didn't catch a thing, not one fish, not even like a little tiny fish. Nothing. They caught nothing. They were probably really exhausted and really discouraged. And so in the morning, they rowed back to shore, <clears throat> and they were cleaning off their nets, and then Jesus approached them. Jesus told them, go back out and drop your nets in the water one more time. He told um, his disciple Simon Peter this, and this is what Simon Peter said um, in Luke chapter 5, verse 5. It says, Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. Guys, listen to that. Because you say so, I will do it again. Because you say so, I'll go back out on the water and I'll put my nets in even though we were out there all night long and we didn't catch a single fish. But because you said so, I trust you and I'm going to do it. That's what Simon Peter was telling Jesus. So Simon Peter got all the di disciples back into the boat and they rowed back out and they dropped the nets and they caught so many fish. They caught too many fish, actually. Um, they caught so many fish that it was starting to sink their boat and they had to call for help from the shore and they had their friends row out and they helped them pull in the net of fish. And this happened, like this miracle happened because Jesus told them to go back out and they listened. Simon Peter listened to Jesus. <laughs> Let's read the story, or the book right here. It says, this story shows us what trust in Jesus looks like. Simon Peter did something just because Jesus said so. Jesus responded that trust, responded to that trust by performing a miracle and giving Simon Peter a new job, fishing for people. You can trust Jesus like that too. You can invite your friends to church or pray for them or share their, um, your things with them just because Jesus says so. When you trust him, he will respond to your trust. So Jesus blessed his disciples here. He said, um, when they called all the fish and brought it back, he said, told them that you are no longer just fishermen. I'm going to make you fishers of men, meaning that the disciples would go out and tell people about Jesus and bring more people to Jesus. So Jesus responded to their trust there and gave them an even bigger job, a better job, <laughs> to go out and bring more people to Jesus. And the book is telling us that we can trust Jesus too. And when we trust him and when we obey him, when he tells us to do something, he responds to that trust and he will bless that trust. I want you to think about that next time you hear God's voice or next time you hear God telling you to do something, I want you to trust him and maybe step out on that ledge or do whatever he's telling you to do and see what he does from there. All right, let's pray. Jesus, you are so good. And I thank you for everything that you've given to us, Lord, everything that you've given in our lives. And I pray that we are able to respond to you, that we are able to trust you. We are able to do what you ask of us, Lord, so that we may further your purpose. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that was a really powerful devotion right there. Um, yeah, I loved that one. All right, until next time, you stay safe out there.